Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Decisive Campaigns Barbarossa episode number four. So good success in the last video, which we're pretty much live now. I'm, I'm getting the feedback, I'm seeing it as it's coming in from the previous video where we had that 60 and somebody corrected me, actually it was closer to 70,000. I'd like to think a lot of those people are prisoners of war because war is terrible. That's our episode reminder. But anyways, they're not on the side fighting against us anymore. Now, um, center, we're going to do this first. We're going to go south to north, reverse our direction here, and then we'll finish up what's left of the army group north. And we might have some time to get into turn three even. In the south, we're going to start off with a surround on uh, Breslatosk, which is already basically surrounded, and then you know, their little push out was it's futile. Somebody should tell them. So what we have here is I'm going to go with only the the um, second Panzer group for this. And by the way, is there so they're at fifty percent? We do need to play their focus card. Did we already do that? I don't know if we did, so let's make sure we do. So starting next turn, we'll have a thirty percent additional bonus. The reason why I don't think we played that yet is because we're only at fifty percent here, and that will go up to eighty percent. It's amazing. All right, let's do this attack now. We want to do it with basically every all the infantry that are around. I think that might be everyone. So we have almost at our attack stack limit versus only 145, and because of their attack, they're a little bit weaker. Anyways, 150% concentric bonus. Things look good, and things have gone very well. We eliminated 9,400 infantry right off the bat. Good start to the episode. Uh, even better that we didn't lose a single person. Now, uh, I don't know who's going to be able to move. Well, obviously, if we have a chance to move for cost zero, we'd like to do that. I don't think that any of these units who already moved are going to have a chance to attack. And the two who are here, we can just have them attack from where they are. Um, there is also one other unit here I can probably attack with. And then we can do something like this. And get three side surrounds. We're basically at the attack stack limit again. Uh, we're facing one troop, which is... Um, at full strength, but hey, I think our four troops and their very weak troops should basically mean that this is a kill. Oh, we're taking losses though, and you'd expect that, I guess, against a, a force that is going to be completely eliminated. Backs to the wall and all that. But despite losing 1,000, we did take out another 21,000. Yeah, I would definitely say this episode's off to a nice start. So we used only the second Panzer Group forces to do all that. And what's the significance of that? Well, not much, really. We've preserved our um, second army forces, which honestly I'd rather, or fourth army forces, I'd probably rather it be the other way around. Um, but in this case, yeah, I think in this case, um, it's still gonna be nice to have this um, infantry. <laughs> well, the fact that the battles went pretty well, I think is what we're most happy about there. And this one can actually assist against the tanks. That might actually be not a bad thing. I mean, alternatively, I can just get them, you know, let's just do this. Let's get them closer to the front faster. Because what I can do here is shove over one person here, get, is it Hugo? I keep calling him Hector, but why am I, am I calling him Hector? I think it's Hugo. Anyways, Hugo, let's get you like this and attack. So we're doing three attacks against the two tank divisions. I think that should be fine. They're in an open area. Yes, yeah, so we lost 200, but they lost... Well, they didn't lose any infantry. But they lost a lot of their other forces. 60 of their 200 T26s. They actually lost both their T34s. It's a, it's a rarity to see those fall. Now, uh, Hugo here, he doesn't... Can't do any other attacks. No sense in him actually moving anywhere. Um, toward, don't need to keep him, just move him east. That's what I'm trying to say. We'll probably do the same thing here. If we can't actually attack, then up you go. But you can move and do an attack, and that's what we're going to want to do. We're also going to want to do that with one of the forces over here. Um, okay, there we go. So attack this. Now we have our full surround. We're looking for 68s. 67s are also fine. 68. Okay, we're basically at our attack stack limit. We have a 100% concentric bonus. We're attacking from every side. 
Now know that there are 14 units in here. Now it's not going to be 140,000 units we're going to take because a lot of these are tank divisions. We have headquarters, cavalry, and a lot of these are already depleted too. I've already lost a lot of people. Um, but notice that we're not doing this attack with any armor, and this is typically what we'll be doing is finishing off with the infantry. Oof. Well, we did take some casualties there, but my goodness, look at that. Look at this long list of red numbers. We took a thousand casualties and inflicted, let's call it 40,000 Soviet losses. Wow, that's... I mean, we need to be doing this. I mean, uh, it, you see the front now, it's kind of empty, and that's that's a good thing. But uh, we need to be doing this, because otherwise, you know, we're... <laughs> We're going to be facing such a, a very difficult force to, to push away if we don't. Uh, now there's a lot of movements, a lot of movement needs to be done here now. Um, let's just push this guy as far forward as possible. So everyone here is just going to start moving east. If you're part of 4th Army, you move this way. If you're part of 9th uh, Army, you're going to move to the northeast. In fact, we probably won't even do their movements quite yet just because... Um, We'll be able to do uh, some attacks with some of those units too. So we'll, we'll see what we can get done. Okay, and you will stay there. Yeah, you'll just stay there because you don't have a better choice. All right, so um, we have some units over here that we're gonna wanna, let's start off with this attack. This one seems obvious to me. Three sides of surround um, against a kind of somewhat depleted force already. Concentric bonus of 20%. Took 200 losses, but inflicted 4,400. The readiness down to 15. This is good. We're pushing them back. So move in and probably do a follow-up attack. I don't see any reason why. I mean, this force must be um, depleted enough that we don't even need to attack with all of them. In fact, I think I'll attack with the two strongest and leave this 66 out of it for now, just in case we want to move in a different direction, have some freedom of what we actually end up doing. Yeah, so we took 400 losses. Oh, wow, but the follow-up attack did 10,000 additional Soviet troops. I mean, we eliminated the pocket at Bialystok and it was 40,000. We took out like 15,000 of these troops just just in two, you know, one attack right after the other. It's brutal. These attacks are brutal. Okay, so the people who can move in for free should, and then you, you have freedom to move around a little bit. That's what I wanted to see. Okay, good. Oh, we want to do something similar with Grodno. We want to attack with our infantry if we can. I suspect that it'll be this infantry and this infantry which we want to push in. Uh, now notice this, I pushed in with this infantry already, so it's already done, but that unit could have moved all the way over here. And we, we may want some unit, I don't know what, who, where, but we may want to do some kind of movement up here to prevent that hex from being um, Soviet controlled. Because we're going to be doing some attacks from the north down. I mean, like, one attack that I want to do is move here and attack this unit, but we don't want to push them across into Conus. We don't want to create more work to take Conus. Although, when we attack into Conus, they're going to be pushed down here, you know? I mean, so there's a whole trade off. Which territory do you. You got to push them into some direction. Which way are you going to push them? I don't know if it was the right thing to move the infantry down here to pass into Grodno, but infantry is definitely better in the, uh, in the city, which is where we're fighting. We are going to use, no, 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 not the armor. We're going to use the, in fact, we're going to use this motorized. No, I think we're going to do it this way. We're going to use this motorized plus the two infantry here. Do this attack. Okay, wow, that was good. So we only took one, so 200 forces uh, as losses, 200 German infantry. Didn't lose anything in the motorized, which is very good. Uh, now, we didn't inflict in incredible casualties. Only 2,200, which, you know, you say only 2,200. Still, the 11 to 1 ratio, we should always remember that ratio is uh, Tortuga's bread and butter. I'd like to be efficient. And, and that definitely was. All right, so uh, we have the ability to keep attacking this motorized, and I don't think that that's a bad idea, to keep kind of pushing them back. The only person who can attack them in the current place is, is the motorized. But I could bring in another unit, probably 15, 56, I think we'll just move this unit in, or should it be this unit? 
Maybe this one. We'll do the attack like this. So we kind of neglected the north last time. We didn't make a big push towards Vilnius. You know, you remember 3rd Panzer Group made the big encirclement on Bialystok. We're paying the penalty for that this turn and that a lot of the Vilnius forces, we can't really access them. Even with our Panzer Group, we just don't have the reach. We definitely don't have the fuel, which I have to be very careful about. Anyway, so this was 4,000 dead. We didn't take, uh, okay, we took a Panzer II as a loss. Their readiness is down now, down to nine. Again, the follow-up attacks are pretty brutal. We're getting a lot of work done with those. Uh, where are you? Okay, so you can move forward. You can move forward and you still have, oh, you only have 49 movement points left. So the problem is, you know, moving in here is gonna take 41 for anybody. It's kind of a bizarre number. It represents the fact that you just had a battle. Um, the thing is, we should really like to attack this unit and we might... So I think at this point, if this motorized has the capability to keep attacking, and it does, we'll just have it keep attacking that by itself. Obviously they're depleted enough at this point, we don't need the second unit. And in fact, they completely were shattered. That's great. We took another 200, they lost the remainder of their 3,800 forces, and we get to move in, that's great. In fact, we can even do one more attack, and we may consider doing that. However, what I'd like to do is use, ooh. Well, that's something, isn't it? Hmm. I could move south, though, and then we'd, we wouldn't be able to do the attack, but we would be able to... S could my one panzer... Okay, they have minus 30%, minus 55%. So this unit is effectively... I'm just going to call this unit combat ineffective. Infantry... Yeah, they are they don't have bad hard defense. 16 I mean, compare that with 18, it's actually not that much better for the T26s. I guess that kind of makes sense. Um, versus our armor, like our Panzer IVs are just amazing. 38 hard attack, 28 hard defense, but 52 attack. 39 soft defense, 39. Okay, so they would, I don't know, it's about, it's risky still. Risky, risky. Panzer threes are really good, 60, 45, that's great. So I didn't, yeah, the Panzer III's, this must be the, the long barrel, is that the one that was better against tanks? Because that that's a substantial, am I reading this right? That's soft attack, that's hard attack. Yeah, the Panzer III's are very good with the hard attack. Oh boy, all right. So we're just kind of stalling here. Well, let's move down here, because I there's more work to be done. <laughs> buy myself some time to just think about what I want to do next. Move people forward in general. Move you north. You north. Alright, now we have one decision to make here, and it's a big one. We are going to want to try to take the side road to Gomel, but the problem is we will be out of supply if we're outside of five hexes from second panzer group. And I, I think I've done a check on this, and it's not it's not five, it's just five hexes. I The only thing I know is it's just any five hexes. I, I don't know if you have to control the territory in between, but it doesn't matter if it, it'll go through the march, which doesn't really make sense because we're delivering supply, but... So I just want to push the second Panzer Group headquarters, Guderian himself, all the way over here, as far as he can go. That gives us one, two, three, four, five. This road is our stop point. So we can actually go one further in theory, but if we want to stay in supply, we're going to go here. And we might as well send this unit, well, and that, in fact, that that is their break point, is there. And that's everybody from here. We've done all the movement we can. Good, yeah, all these forces are basically done moving. Except for this one, wow, okay, good. So we can move over here. This is gonna take 700 fuel to do. We gotta be somewhat conservative. I also want um, somebody, can anybody get in here and just eliminate this messy stuff? <laughs> uh, we have a tank somewhere. That's a lot of extra fuel just to go into there. I don't think I'm gonna to wanna to do that. 
I think if we're gonna move anybody in, it's going to be, um, let's move this one here. Yeah, probably like infantry. Okay, let's just do this. Do this, but. Yeah, I'm just gonna do this. Clear it, now look at that. Continuous territory, we have it. One, two, three, four, five. So anybody else who wants to move there, they can. I don't think, do, oh, we do have one more. Motorized does make the most sense moving over here because we'll be attacking um, just the city. But then there is open territory, so I, honestly, I don't know. One panzer, the fourth panzer is actually a little bit depleted, unfortunately, but I could move. Well, this is open territory too, so let's just use the motorized down here. There we go. So the, they've got a lot of movement to do. I guess it makes sense to give the unit, which will spend less fuel, to move further. Um, yeah, so that, and that's what we've done. Okay, moving back over to the north. I think that the situation here is... Yeah, we don't want to attack this infantry. They're entrenched in the forest. It's just no bueno. This infantry we can attack, and probably we will. Who can do attacks right now on this? Okay, so I think what we're going to have to do is move this unit here, do an attack. 500. What the heck? That was surprising. We actually took second, a, a second, a Panzer II and a Panzer IV as a loss, which I did not expect. I thought we would just slaughter them. That was not the case. We did push them back, which is what I wanted. We're not going to do the follow-up attack because that would... That would mean we'd be crossing river. I don't think that that's it's not the right time for that yet. So I think we are going to do this uh, move over and we're going to do the attack with this panzer unit. And just eliminate that pocket. Little pocket, tiny pocket. Okay, so 6,000 Soviet infantry dead. The rest of these tanks and all that are all gone. Um, probably doesn't even make sense for this panzer group to move in, unless we wanted to follow up attack there, but uh, it, Actually, it's probably better that you stay as far east as possible and that you stay on the road if We want to do attack against this tank we could but more, I think more important for us is to drive north. We got to kind of help out panzer group north I mean army group north, which is hurting right now. Now before I forget I do want to get panzer group into well at least this far so that's one, two, three. Yeah, we're, we're close enough. One, two, three, four. Good. And this one's close enough. Yeah, I think we're fine now. Barely. <laughs> Everyone's in range, but just barely. <laughs> Which is perfect. That's how we want to do it. Uh, I guess we can move some of these other forces forward at this point. Um, you'll be going north. You'll be heading south. Okay, you can't make it over the bridge, so you can either go here or there. I'll send you up there. I'll send you over, over. I'm gonna send you north, really far north. And you probably also need to go, let's see, well, you can go hang out here this time, since nobody's gonna make it all that far. Maybe you'll stay on south of the river? I mean, there's a lot, no, I mean, there's a lot of um, fourth army south of the river. I think that this whole group is meant for the forest north of the river. So take it back, go there. Yeah, that's that's really good. Let's have you go there. Oh, okay, wow, we have another... I didn't even notice that this motorized exists. That's right, I kept this guy in reserve so that he can go this direction. And you, you can see that as we push the forces back and even just doing one more attack here, we could do another follow-up attack on this unit. Of all things but you know what's even better is if I move here I can be in position to do an attack on this hex when they come across and that'll cut I think that's what I'm gonna end up wanting to do um, but we may we can actually ah, yeah this is so tough give me a second to think okay I, I have I have a plan now I think that it's gonna be comical if nothing else I have two units, the 14th motorized and the 19th panzer, who can currently attack this unit and then push him north. And that's what I'm going to do. That will eliminate the zone of control that this one is exerting on the, the adjacent railroad. 
Okay, that went well. I was fingers crossed that that would go well. Redness is down a lot. We lost the Panzer III, but they lost 4,200, dropped the Redness down to 25. And guess where they are? <laughs> yep, they're back in the usual location. <laughs> they are uh, joining all their other brethren. Now, I have one Panzer group who can come up and do this attack. And I think I'm going to do that. Okay, I, I thought... Oh, I, I see. Yeah. What I was planning to do is to go to this road and then do this attack to push them across the river. Then I was going to move this uh, motorized over here, do an attack and push them back across the river. It just would have been real comedy to me. That's why I said, you know, comical. To push them across the river once, then twice, then a third time. I mean, I don't know if any units would survive that. So do they... Actually, we probably could do that. Now, only having 30 movement wouldn't, wouldn't give us much time, so I think we can't do that. Even better, by the way, would be as if we can move here, do this attack. If we're victorious and we can do one more attack to actually take this hex, that would be enormous. I think we even have to try to do that. Okay. If you can't move. You can only move backwards. Yeah, kind of the same with you. We don't want you to move there. You're probably... The movement for this unit is probably done for the turn. So, yeah, let's go ahead and do this. I hope this works. Alright, we lost a half-track. I expect some of these units are going to start to break. This one only had four components left in it, so it was basically dead. Um, yeah, but their redness down to seven. They lost 8,000. These fall attacks are brutal. So we did move it there, but here's the big question cannot you cannot do any other attacks okay and i want to find where's my panzer headquarters one two three four so you're still fine oh but you can do the attack oh. crazy i may need to do that the motorized use so much less fuel that this is uh, and we by the way we see that they do have a garrison in in uh, vilnius I think doing this attack is going to make sense because we're going to want at some point to pocket some units over here and not if we if we have control I mean <laughs> anyway I mean if we don't ha like we have to allow the border between center and north to be secured on both sides I mean if 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 they can just freely move like we saw them just leaving north to go east to Vilnius we can't allow that this is what we got to do we got to do this and you only have four rounds of attack, so I hope you get this done. Oh, wow, we did it. Now, the 11th Army didn't take any damage at all, but we broke yet another one. In fact, I only saw two in there. Did we break two last time or something? Well, we might as well just keep pushing. So, one, two, three, four, five. I guess we gotta move into... No, let's not. Well, next turn, this, the zone, the whatever, extra movement cost to go in there is gonna be completed. So yeah, this is difficult. I wish we could take that hex, but I have nothing left to take it. And this is, we're done with army group, um, oh, we still have some movement. And we have 1300 oil as well. This is, this is unlike Tortuga. <laughs> we could do an attack, I guess. Is it time for us to do attacks here? I don't think so. I kind of wanted to rest the panzers. Oh, wait, we do have a few units pretty far back. So we'll start moving them forward. Now, this is the worst unit to be getting that territory. We'll get that with the infantry next turn, no problem. Infantry is really what's better for this force, but I wanted to make sure that we had five German territories um, between, I mean, four German territories between the two units. So that, that was okay. That was an acceptable loss, in my opinion. In fact, we could move here just to be ready for a potential surround next turn. If nothing else, it might force them to better defend us um, by pushing them all the way into the forest. And hey, the, the thinner they spread, the better for us. It kind of makes sense. In, uh, okay, now we're starting to see oil being a problem. 925. I mean, we don't really need to do any other movement. Like attacking this unit. Well, I did talk about attack follow-up attacks being pretty useful. We get to move here for free. It only takes 30 to move there. All right, all right. I'm, I, I talked myself into it. I'll do it. Any other movements I need to do? Because this will probably deplete our fuel. 
These are... Oh, we do have... Somewhere in here is... <laughs> there he is. You probably should have gone this way. And then we'd have four total units. It's not too late. It would just mean that we can't do this attack. Yeah, this would take a lot of fuel. Man, it's so much fuel to do this. Probably better if we just leave this unit here. Can these three units by themselves take whatever we need? I, I hope so. Well, we're going to commit only half-heartedly. Can you do the movement attack still? Okay, fair enough. In fact, who? Oh, that unit can do an attack too? Well, let's not do the attack with that one. I think we're, we're fine with the one. River crossing scares me. Well, we didn't get as much casualties as I thought, but at least we got the T-34. I'll take it. I mean, they're down to a readiness of 5, so they're not in good shape. We're down to 151 fuel. That's going to do it for the Army Group Center, which uh, will give me a... I'll need a moment to prepare myself. Let me just do this right away so that I don't forget. We'll play our tactical card as well. So 20% bonus instead of 30% because this is Hopner. But that's okay. It's still a 20% bonus, which we will very much appreciate. Now, Army Group North is in kind of a sticky situation. I think we overextended a little bit with our Panzer Group in the last turn. Like this third motorized, it was exciting, it was fun to push that far. I definitely had visions of an encirclement, uh, an enormous encirclement, but we really bit off more than we can chew here. What we're going to have to do is peel back down south, and I'm going to have to pull this one all the way back. What a waste of fuel. And uh, by the way, Panzer Group, Army Group North, for some reason only had 3400 fuel. Their fuel supply is worse than anyone else's by some significant amount, and I don't know exactly what the what the reason is, um, but that's something we'll have to pay very close attention to, is trying to keep as much fuel with the with Army Group North as possible. Uh, but we're gonna need to, if we wanna get a cutoff here, I think we're gonna have to just spend fuel to do it. The question is, where is what's the line that we should choose to try to cut? And I think a natural place would be to cut here. So we've extended this far already. Then we can just, but we want to take Connus and this one this turn as well. So we have a real tough situation. Why do we want to take Connus? We don't want them to blow the bridge. Uh, so it really comes down to probably needing to push south like this. This unit's going to have to do this and probably this unit's going to need to come along and maybe even this Panzer group. I mean the Panzer division, first Panzer division. But we have these forces here, which would also be like great for an attack. And this whole area is going to be really tough to take. We'll probably have to pull all the Panzer groups back to do some good damage. I think that our best bet is to do something like this, to do to use overwhelming force to attack these units. Um, we're going to need one to do this no matter what. Ah, overwhelming force. I was hoping that we would just completely annihilate them. We took 400 dead and we only inflicted 2400. So, I mean, this was a moderate success. I wouldn't call it, I mean, it's, it's a victory, right? We'll move everyone in here. Okay, now we have, this is the big attack. And right now, thankfully, right now, this area is only um, defended by one full strength infantry division, one weakened, slightly weakened infantry division, and a basically non-existent tank. We're going to do the attack with both of our motorized. And the SS are going in, and they fight stronger in this game, so we just hope that this is enough. This is this is not a great, you know, wish we could be doing better here. But this is the, the price we pay for not having prioritized the northern route last turn. And we got a great payoff in, um, in Bialystok, but, you know... It's a, it's a net, it's a zero-sum game, you know, it's just, oh, wow, we ran out of AP, didn't even take it. In fact, we didn't even come close to taking it. We just took 800 losses, they barely, uh, I mean, they barely took double of us, 1,600. Worse yet, that counts as the attack points. Uh, we just didn't even weaken them. So I don't know if the attacking them with the tanks there might have helped. There is still some heavy infantry there, otherwise these tanks will fight weaker. What's this considered? A minor city? So you know what? It might have been worth going in with the tanks. They fight at 50% strength. It would have been an all, an all or nothing roll. 
We still have one more chance to take it. You have 74. So we can still, in a way, not take it, but we can um, cut them off. We'll do this. We won, okay. We just got obliterated. We took one Panzer II, two Panzer Threes, and two Panzer Fours. We have a total remaining, oh my gosh, not, not enough, in my opinion. So we lost 10 of our total 60 Panzer Threes. And we lost 10 of our total 25 uh, Panzer IVs. That is terrible. We lost. We started with 25 and we come out with 15 Panzer IVs. That's terrible. So that was a very bloody, bloody fight. And the problem is that they're going to want to break out. So everything left in this area is not going to want to be in this area any longer. No surprise there, huh? Um... All right, well, I think what we want to do is push all the units into this 8th Army Headquarter place because that's not a forest. So probably what we want to do is come over here, do this attack to push them there. That way that unit... No, we got to push them out of the forest first. That's the first order of business. Yeah, we need you here. We have two units here, so... Who's going to do this attack? What's in here? This is a pretty depleted force, so I hope that we can get away with... Maybe attacking with this group. Do we have any other green in the area? Because green would be good. Otherwise, because I think this unit is going to have to assist and attack across the river that way. And nobody else is capable. The problem is, if I do an attack with that unit, it cuts my concentric bonus down from 10%. I think I'm just going to do it this way. Oh my god, we're taking casualties. Holy cow, well, 3,000. This is the worst fight, the second worst fight, maybe compared to the one uh, with Con and Conus itself. Brutal, very big casualties. This is, this is what the infantry signed up for, you know, maybe. Probably not at this point, they don't think so. I'm not even sure if we want them to move in this way, because <laughs> it's not really where they want to go. All right, we'll do this. Yeah, now this is a surrounded unit, as long as I go over here and push this unit down. But I can't do that with just those units. Crap. I mean, I guess I can do this, I can just start pushing through. So attack with one, two, three, four. Good, we're underneath our attack stack. We're at 40% bonus. Just making sure, yeah. So that's what we want to do. This is in the plains, so it should be good for our armor. It's brutal. The north was always going to be difficult. 6,200 infantry, at least we're starting to do some damage here. And when this is a pocket, so we just got to keep pushing them. And fuel's already, uh, we're already out of fuel. This will be our last attack of the, of the turn. Crazy. Well, I guess we'll do with one less. I guess we won't attack with you. And none of these units can assist. No, truly not. Only this one can attack there. But they're across the river, one to one, we completely lose that. Okay, well, I guess we'll do something like this in the meantime. One, two, three, four. We're about at our attack stack, got 40% bonus. I think this, this is only a couple of, or three, wow, three units, but they're all in yellow. I keep thinking that things are going to go really well, and I didn't want to oversell at that time. This one did, but, you know, <laughs> I was starting to get worried. So you might have wondered, like, why I did that. Like, oh, that was a little bit bold, but he moved. Yeah, I moved here because I knew I could get back out. <laughs> oh, we can do an attack on Connus from this side. Yeah, not from that guy. Now we'll take a political point penalty if we do that one. 
think one of these units, maybe this one's gonna just keep hold the river. And then you'll probably, I don't know, you pro you'll probably go across. You will here, okay. So who can attack? Two units? Is it is there like even a remote possibility that we would break these guys? I don't think so. But you know what, God, it's worth doing. It's worth trying. Good luck, gentlemen. Oh man, we broke one. We panicked another. That was quite good. I mean, the result was... I'll take the 1,000 casualties versus their 3,600 plus the broken division. Um, it's good. I just... You know, we just... We're going to... Fingers crossed that they don't blow the bridge. That's still the... The big problem. <laughs> we don't have anybody to attack this one, so now it does come down to just doing this attack with, uh, I guess, not everyone. That Panzer Division pulled back, now we're underneath. 10% attack, attack stack bonus. Okay, is it worth it though? Well, they're gonna break out unless we, uh, yeah, unless we stop this, so we have to hope that this succeeds. Okay, it just barely did, but we have taken, like, I, I'm just, I'm kind of in tears here, and I think people in the comment section are probably going to be brutal against my decision making so far. I, um, I think we couldn't have done better than this, unfortunately. I mean, that doesn't, it's not going to make people happy that I say it that way, but one, two, three, four, five. Good, Panzer Group is just, just in range. We have one fuel left. Guess what? That's not enough to move anybody. Uh, this was a brutal turn, but look at we actually I know that it's gonna sound I'm trying to pull out a silver lining. I'm not I think that the the fact is I Kind of messed up the first turn in north and I kind of intentionally pulled the rug out from underneath north when I decided to go for the Bialystok pocket instead of assisting along the the northern army group center line I guess this is just where we're at and the real problem with not taking Kanas I mean, at least one of them, there's plenty. Besides the bridge blowing element, is the fact that we can't progress our railroad to the north until we take it. It's just frustrating. But a lot of losses, a lot of tough blows. Um, the good news is that none of these units, wow, they still have a full strength infantry as well. But I mean, we have very good defenses protecting, okay, we have very good defenses protecting any attacks coming out of this hex. From Conus itself, there's only one unit that has 60 readiness. It probably can do an attack. Their best bet would probably be do a three-sided attack against the first Panzer Division. Yeah, they could probably... This one is down to 41 readiness. I don't know if they could participate or not. Regardless, next turn, this is all going to be cleared. Assuming the bridge isn't blown. Let's get this unit um, all the way up. Ah, <sighs> all right. Well, that's that's that. Okay, I guess the 18th Army can still do a couple more things. Let's not totally discount their, you know, it's just kind of an afterthought movement, but we can still do it. Let's do a three attack against these one and a half units. Still taking some casualties here. 800 to the 4600. Thank you. Let's end it on a good note. Two of these guys should be able to do the attack still. Yeah. You know, actually we could we could do it this way. I mean, I think I prefer the follow-up attack. Yeah, I think I full I prefer the follow-up attack. We could surround this unit. It's not, and but I think that it'd be better if we just do the follow-up attack on these guys. Hopefully, kill them. Panic is what I want to see. Okay, thirty-eight hundred. The redness is really, really down. So we'll have our chance to um, to attack this unit next turn. That does mean, unfortunately, that we cannot cut them off. Yeah. Well, we can't cut them off now. But as I said, that, that was kind of a decision we made. And 18th will probably just stay where they are too. Well, that concludes this turn. I guess we can uh, run the end turn. I noticed a couple more things we can do before we end the turn. 
There's this stack of three units, which I think is basically at the point of breaking, but if we attack them, they will move into Kanas uh, upon defeat. Um, they won't be able to get into Kanas because that's crossing a river and they're all totally depleted if I don't do the attack. It's a really interesting trade-off here. Um, one of the things that I'm trading off is the use of action points in this four-day window versus the next turn's four-day window. And I think I'd rather do that now. So hopefully we'll just break them. Um, I mean, we didn't break them, but... Yeah, they're only going to have 400 infantry moving back and only 40 T26s. We didn't take any losses. So I, I would say that this is a good thing. The fact that their infantry division is one is the one that broke is perfect. So the fact that their tanks are only going to defend at 75% in Kanas um, means that, you know, they're already weakened and probably aren't going to do much anyway. But they certainly aren't going to be able to do anything uh, on from an offensive perspective. Um, and yeah, this infantry is the only one. We did a little bit of weakening. Okay, its readiness is down to 60. I don't know what that'll translate to in terms of action points for them, but... The thing I'm worried about is that 1st Panzer Division is... The burden of holding this is entirely on 1st Panzer Division. Now you could say it's technically just as much on 18th Motorized Infantry Division, or it's on the SS and the Motorized over here, but really, I mean, if I was looking at this, if the, I'm sure the computer's looking at this correctly, you have a, a four-sided attack on 1st Panzer Division with... Uh, I mean, it, it's the only one realistically that they should attack. So we'll see what happens. Unfortunately, we're down to 51 readiness ourselves here. Uh, yeah, this was this turn did not go exceptionally well for Panzer Group North, which is what I've already covered. Um, okay, so going down to uh, center, we have a little bit of fuel left. Yeah, when I actually select somebody, one, no. <laughs> we have one, 151, and that's enough to move this third Panzer Division uh, forward a couple. Yeah, actually, technically it takes 195 fuel to get here, but they, I guess they round and they give it to us or something. So we're able to do that, and the reason why I'm doing that is um, I want to be in closer to the front to have more options, even if, you know, let's say I had 200 fuel and this only took 195 and this took us down to 5, so I wasn't getting any free fuel. I want to do this because it, it gives me more options next turn. Um, I'm, I'm just, I'm taking away a little bit of fuel from next turn for this turn, but I, I get the same number of action points next turn regardless. So now my action points for the 3rd Panzer Division start only two hexes away from the enemy versus further but you know it'll just give me a little more options if i need to do a surround with three armor divisions maybe that one is the one that makes the difference in uh south what we can do is probably move this 44th infantry division uh, just to have it move south this won't restrict its cone of movement at all because it can move in a cone northeast along these hexes and there's just no way that i'm going to want it to move any further north to the marsh than, than this cone is already giving me. But it's possible that we may want to move south, so um, that'll just put it better position. I kind of regret the 17th Army moving here. We should have just kept them on the railroad. It's better for supply. I don't think it matters right now. And this is a big decision. I was debating whether or not to move this um, infantry division group back. Uh, we are kind of exposed. You know, we're four sides. They actually have some pretty strong units here. Two armor divisions, one motorized. Then across the river, they have a couple of infantry divisions, one over here, a couple more over here. So uh, it's actually a, a very big threat that this unit is attacked and and like uh, basically displaced and, and it has very bad casualties. Now it's the Romanian army, so you know, the old I don't care thing, right? But the one thing I really want to do is if we can move 11th Army HQ across the river, and we will do that, we now are in position to support um, 1st Armored Division's movement onto the road. So we're just pushing our um, friendly territory a little bit further, which means that we can do a little bit more next turn. Um, I don't suspect that, I mean, I'm sure Odessa is got a garrison, so I don't suspect that we're gonna be doing anything against it with just an armor division. But this does put us on the road to kind of backtrack and maybe cut off some forces, maybe go knock on the back door of Proskuru. I doubt that we'll go that far, but I mean, again, just taking territory and making it more difficult for them to retreat. Okay, well, fingers crossed now, we just leave it to the fate of RNG, and we end the turn. I, I'm, I can't even really process what's happening. Okay, now, I wish this was all done from north to south, that they could just reorder it. They kind of do have to show it in the order it happens, because you can have sequential events, even though it's all happening, in, you know, in theory, simultaneously, but... 
But if you attack with one unit, that unit is the one that attacked first, because the next unit that attacks attacks your weakened post-attack, you know, uh, status. So no attacks. That's interesting. Well, that's great. Well, I didn't see. Did they blow the bridge? Okay, 30th of June. That's us. An AGC cleaning out the pockets is tying down considerable forces. Theater HQ must in particular see to it that infantry forces are brought up behind Guderians and Hoth's peasant groups around the pocket. Ha! You're too late. I already cleared the pocket. <laughs> I mean, that's very true in north and in south, but not... not actually, it's only true in, in north right now. Okay, so a good relationship with Von Rundstedt as... As usual, we do have a good relationship, and he's given us a bonus to 11th Army. Okay, well, that's the... I mean, that's a very good one to have a bonus to. I guess I would still prefer 7th... I mean, who? I'm, I'm not going to nitpick. It's good that we have it. Um, Luftwaffe, they're done with their bombing campaign, so now we can deploy tactical air support cards. Uh, we had two divisions deployed, two failed to deploy, and nine are pending. You can actually see the rules and the logs, and I haven't done that. Oh my gosh, nine decisions. Goodness gracious. Gee, look at this, look at this. North only has 1,800 fuel assigned to it. Whereas center is getting 61, call it 6,200. That's, I think that's more than the distribution is supposed to be. It says that there's only 360 runners, 77% so operational. Transports are 96% operational. So things are worse, it looks like, in the north. Although the average division mileage is less than center, at least. So I, I'm gonna have to look, maybe look more into the fuel, and you know, that's one of those things you gotta dive into the reports. But let's see what we have here. Synthetic oil production, we have Russian oil, we have unexpected fuel usage, yeah, no kidding. Signaling for Army Group Center, signaling for South, I think that's uh, railroads, right? Rail, yeah. Uh, security division, not my favorite, but at least it is a chance as a, um, you know, to get a better relationship with who is this center. Yeah, okay, so we'll get a better relationship with center. And then we have a poor performance thing in our staff. That's, I guess, potentially a way for us to improve staff performance if we spend political points. We have 60, which is probably um, a byproduct of our having... Which is it? Staff, I think? Yeah, so we have 20 points left for over. And we killed two army HQs. So we got another 16 political points. We captured Brussels Toss, which gave us four. Bialystok was one. Grodno was one. And then because we have nine decisions, they gave us 18, you know, nine times two political points. So we actually, I mean, with 60 political points, I feel, <laughs> feel like we might be able to get out of this. Let's see, we have eight there. Because almost surely all the oil ones are just immediately we give it everything. That's 17, um, 5 maybe. So we're looking at 22 for those three. I think we're going to be able to make all the decisions we want on this turn, but it might leave us in a political point situation, which is pretty bad. And it's not like we can unkill army headquarters and then kill them again. Although we, um, okay, yeah, because they pulled back. Wow, fascinating. Well, we'll dive more into this in the next turn. We'll probably review the history and see what they actually did. Because um, we just don't have more time in this episode to do anything. Let's get this episode out. Boy, this is fascinating. These guys are... Um, I can see the green, so they, they are in supply. We're all good there. Um, and we can see the 80% for Gridarian's forces. They're going to be hitting like a truck now. But, the, man, the Soviets are intelligently pulling back. They probably sense the fact that I've eliminated so many units, I'm going to be driving hard. Until the next one, thanks for watching. Stay safe and take care.